What's up guys, welcome to your 21st Android app development tutorial. This is Shrakes from SmartHerd. Now in this tutorial we will discuss about the explicit intents in detail. Now let's proceed. Now we have seen our manifest file while we made our first application. Now inside our manifest we had this intent filter. Now this first activity earlier we represented the main activity. Here I am presenting the activity A inside our manifest file with the following codes. Now in this application guys I am having another activity B. This is the codes of activity B in our manifest file. Now you must be thinking what this intent filter stands for. Inside the intent filter we have two tags action and category. Now this action and category here it is shown action.main and category.launcher. Now this, these two statements specify this activity A is the entry point of our application. That is when you are going to open the application then the first activity that will be visible to you is the activity A. So activity A is the entry point of the application right and here activity B I have written the category as category.default and here the action I have written shrakes.smarter.activityb. It varies with the functionality that you want to provide right now. Now suppose you copy and paste this action action.main and category.launcher just cut and paste these two lines of codes and replace the codes of the activity B with these two lines of code. Then in that case if you run the application in the emulator then the following launcher screen will be visible to you. Now you will be able to see the two same application with the same name right. This is because you have made both the activities as the entry point of the application. Activity A is, is acting as a launcher activity. On the same hand the activity B is also acting as the launcher activity. So if you open this application then you will find the activity A and if you will open this application then you will find the activity B visible to your screen. So this is not at all recommended to use the same category category.launcher in two application. Category.launcher is only used for the entry point of the application activity that is the main activity or the activity A in this case. Right now in previous tutorial I discussed intents are of two types explicit intents and the implicit intents. Now in the last to last tutorial I showed you in order to move from one activity to the another activity we use the intents. Now what is the syntax of writing the intents so that we can migrate from one activity to the another activity. Now this intent guys is actually the explicit intents that we are using here. The syntax is as follows intent i equal to new intent then start activity i right now this intent is the class intent right and i is the object of this intent class right now and we are initializing the intent by the statement intent i equal to new intent now within the brackets we are having the we are having two parameters the first parameter is representing the context from which activity we are moving from from here we are migrating from activity a to activity b right so we have to write the context as activity a dot this right now to which class we are moving we are moving to class activity b right so we have to write activity b dot class right pretty simple now to make this action happen we have to write start activity i right now in that case how our manifest is going to look like here we have to define activity A. Since our activity A is the launcher activity so the action and category is like this action.main then category.launcher right. Now in case of activity B we can only write activity name equal to activity B then close the tag. You don't have to specify the intent filter in this case because we are not using the action and category in case of activity B. Now the second syntax to move from activity A to activity B is like this intent i equal to new intent shrinks dot smarter dot activity b. Now what this string stands for I will just show you what is this right. This is our manifest codes. This is the codes of activity a and the below one is the code of activity b. Now in this case I have written something intent filter in case of activity b which was previously absent now. Here you can see the category of the activity b is the category dot default right. Now the action I have written name equal to shrakes dot smarter dot activity b. Now this is the string that you can write a b c d e f g h right like this also or you can write your name 
or it is not necessary to write shrieks dot smarter dot activity b you can write whatever string you like to write here now this string is actually equal to this string right now this action name you have to write here so whenever you will start this intent then it is going to navigate from activity a to another activity b right now let us check out the method 3 code now in this case our syntax is like this now intent i equal to new intent first i have created an intent object i then i have written i dot set class name then after that within this i have two parameters package name then package name dot activity b now this is the package name of our application right now the second parameter is package name dot activity b right so this package name dot activity b signifies specifically saying to start this activity b this is the part to the activity b right now in that case our manifest will look like this right so hope the syntax and basics of the explicit intents is clear the, ex the explicit intents is used if you know the action if you know the activity that you want to perform then in that case we use the explicit intents and don't worry about the implicit intents guys i will talk about this topic later on as of now just be concerned about the explicit intents so in the next tutorial i will show you the codes of the explicit intents right so stay tuned this is shrek from smart herd signing off and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video and do share my video thank you